um, I'm going to talk about my plan, my plan that I want to set forth into motion. I have um, thinking about it for a while now, and uh, I am now want to start it pretty soon. I want to start like advocating for it pretty soon, and it's to set up real bases of operation for the RMD, and not just on the internet. You know, like have us be active in the real in the real world. And people ask me, you know, like, how could I get involved with this? You know, like, people like the idea of what I'm doing here. And they ask me, like, you know, how could I get involved? Well, this is one of the ways you can get involved here, people. And it's set up basis of operation for the R of the RMD in high schools and universities, colleges, universities, places of academics. And the thing about that is, um, like, it's base of operations but it would be, would it be a club basically but it would still be an op base of operation from your high school or from your university that you go to and the reason for this is actually two of the two of the main uh, mission statements the main goals of the RMD one being to spread rock and roll and metal music and doing this would indeed help that but the other reason and probably more significant reason is to unite metalheads and rockers together and this helps it more by making these based of operation because then we know who the metalheads and rockers are from each school whether it be a high school or a university let's say you live right now in New York City and you hear this and you start up something and someone else in New York City also hears this and starts up something or they're in New Jersey or Pennsylvania or Boston, you know, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, you know, that area. And eventually time, and eventually, like, people advocate enough and get it working that there's enough places for you to each, you know, communicate with each other. It'd be a network, a web, of ne a network of webs of communication. And then, with that, we can know who, who, who is who. And because of that, we are we would be able to set up our own parties, our own like s parties, festivals. You know, we already got festivals. We could set up more of them. You know, these uh webs, um, these networks of communication can help us to know who is who. And so, like, you can unite and talk with other rock, rock, rock rockers and metalheads from different universities and different high schools. And you know. Before that, you would never have known, never would have known about anyone from that school. You just have known it's just a school and people go there. But because of this network that I want to accomplish and set up, then you would know about those people. And then you can all get together at those same places and have parties and clubs and stuff set up. So, like, you know, like how people go to a party and, like, they always have like I don't know some stupid pop music, and some of it's good. Yeah, whatever. I can I can tolerate it, but you know it'd be nice for me at least for at least one time to you know you know have a metal party, play some metal music, have a DJ who plays metal music or and rock music at a party, and it could be like catchy metal music too. There are catchy metal music that could be good for like a club scene. People don't realize that, though. I mean, and and that's it goes the same for people outside in the middle. They think it's not like good dance music, and I just say to them, you know, you're 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 ignorant, you're dumb, you don't know what you're talking about. You obviously don't know what you're talking about. So why are you like claiming something you don't know to be true and accurate? And you're just making something based out of ignorance and arrogance, partly arrogance, but mostly ignorance. Um. So that, like this can help us unite as well and like bands could be formed bands could go to different schools and you know we can all help each other out we can all communicate with one another hang out outside the college out college arena you know we can all communicate each other as well about the different types of majors we're studying you know let's say you're interested in something but you have a major in something else so you can ask your fellow comrade metalheads and rockers in those fields that they're studying that you're also interested in about and they can help you out with that as well 
that you can help each other out with that. You know, there's different, many different opportunities. I mean, the ability to be able to, you know, know who is who in this vast world, and especially in a college setting where you have student bodies of over 10,000 students, or, at, you know, maybe even a thousand students to be able to know who's who, and that'd be great, you know? And having and knowing that there's different people that like this kind of music that go to your high school or to your college, and yeah, this is the same thing for high school. You know, if you're what if you're listening to this and you're in high school right now, feel free to start a Rocky Metal Disciples base of operation in your high school as well, and get people involved and get people active and listen to music, and not just listening to music but also playing the instruments, because then you make yourself a more active role in your community in your society and music is just amazing like that really I mean just being able to play instruments and come together as a community and be able to be in friendship and you know with one another and that's a great thing about it so there's different schools that I want to start this out at obviously I have to make this a big big network not just in the United States, but also around the world, so we can all communicate with each other from around the world and all help each other out, all like share music with each other. See, because this is the thing about like people who think some people are posers or some people are emo or whatever. It, I don't even try to even think about this stuff, but it, uh, I don't know. It's just confusing to me with people, the stuff. Okay, let's just give let's give an example here. Um, a band that might be labeled by people who listen to them as posers, I think could probably be Asking Alexandria or Black Veil Brides, for example. Okay, well, and they go, oh, well, you know, listen to Armada Moth. That's a better metal band. That's real metal. Well, guess what, people? I listen to both, and I like both. So, I mean, I don't see the big deal there, but I like both of them. Anyway, back to my point. I was in the store one time. It was an Apple store. And there's this kid I notice. And he's wearing an Asking Alexandria t-shirt. And I was like, and I never listened to the band before. And I asked him, I was like, hey, you know, I've never listened to this band before, but I'm kind of curious. Can you care to show me some of your music? I just can't. I just walked up to him. I was like, hey, you know, you seem cool, you know, like... He was a little surprised, but I mean, I don't know, whatever. So I was like, I was born, was it was more than helpful to listen to his music. So I listened to it. I was like, hey, you know, I I got no problem with this band. I like them. I mean, I don't see a problem with them. I mean, I'm cool with it. I mean, and by that time, you know, because I've listened to bands like Amara Moss before asking Alexandria, I'm able to like, I'm able to get used to those kind of like vocals. So those vocals are kind of something not new to me. But asking Alexander Jim is was more popular with those vocals. Anyway, the point was he did not know who Amon Ramoth was. He did not really listen to that much Metallica. The reason for that being is because he just can't. He d he probably didn't even know who Amon Ramoth was. Listen, people who listen to Amon Ramoth, I love him too. But the only reason I even know about him is because of a friend of mine who showed me the band. And the first time I ever listened to them from Armada Moth was, uh, it was Cry of the Blackbirds, and that was the first song I ever listened to him, and I liked the song, and that's what got me into Armada Moth, and that's why I like Armada Moth, and that's why Armada Moth is freaking awesome, and if I ever get a chance to see him at a concert, that would be freaking awesome, just plain awesome, I'm gonna keep saying awesome and awesome over and over again, but the point was, the only reason I even knew about them was because someone told me about them. You see, the thing with metal is, it's not like pop music. It's not like it's on the TV all the time. It's not like it's very big in terms of advertising. Metal probably has one of the weakest forms of marketing we know because people don't invest that much time into marketing or advertising metal bands that much. So how do people usually find out about metal bands? I say, you know, it's because by word of mouth. And going back to my network plan of like the RMD setting up base operations in colleges and high schools, this could help us to share the music with different people. So like 
and it's like you go up to someone and you like you know I don't know Metallica or like you like uh, old Metallica and you meet someone there and it's like hey you know you can meet someone and, they, and that person might probably never listen to the Kill 'Em All album that Metallica's first album and like hey you know check this song out and then they like it you know but that's because they never bothered to listen to it before and you know it could be that or it could be you know going back to the Amon Ramat thing it could be you know you know you meet a person who likes some metal bands but never heard of Amon Ramat, Ramat and you show them Amon Ramat, Ramat and now they like Amon Ramat because you showed them it so there you go and the thing was with this kid was it was the same exact story I was like hey you ever heard of Ma Amon Ramat and he's like no I have not it's like do you mind if you listen to it and he's like no I mean, I mean, I'm like, he's like, no, I don't mind. So I showed him the song "Destroyer of the Universe." Guess what? He liked the song. So he started, that was his first song he ever heard from Amon Ramat, and he liked it. And then I showed him a Metallica song he never like, he never uh, knew before. It was called, it's the song "The Four Horsemen," off their first album. He knew who Metallica was, but he didn't listen to that song. So you see, it might not exactly be someone's fault. And this is another thing that can help us out, to be stronger together and united, more united, you know, and just to have a good time, just to chill and stuff like that at the same time, to be in bands and to hang out and to have a good time and to connect with different people. So this is my networking strategy plan. Um, I'm going to, I'm thinking about it more, but I just wanted to talk about it more. I just like talk about it the first time right now, and I'll delve into it more, I got to plan it out a little bit more and people if you have questions about it cuz there might be something on my mind right now that I am not thinking of but you could probably bring it up and ask me so please ask a question about this idea again because you know there's like it, it's just this idea is in my head and I felt like getting out there finally and um, I want to get it out there to people and this is again not just for colleges and universities but also for high schools as well so to set up base of operations and to start networking to people and stuff like that that's so we get our message out there to unite them to unite rockers and metalheads together and become more united in strength and stronger and to spread rock and metal music even further than it's ever gone before and that's what I that's what I would like to do that's what I plan that's what what I would intend on doing so that's all for this podcast thanks for listening in bye yeah.